Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be continuing a prior screencast on Autodesk Accounts, formerly known as Autodesk Subscription. Uh, in this particular one, we will actually go into an account, log in, and create and set up users. Um, and then we'll extend the screencast for additional ones to do additional features within the software. So in order to get to your Autodesk account, you can open up any browser. Uh, I find Chrome that works the most stable you can go to www.autodesk.com forward slash accounts and hit enter. It will take you to this sign on page. Enter your username and password, click sign in. If you don't have one, you can actually sign up for free and just clicking this link will get you to that location. I'll go ahead and sign in. When you're signing into Autodesk accounts, you can either sign in as the contract administrator, the one who has complete total uh, autonomy and control over the account, or you can be logging in as an end user, one who has already been set up by the contract administrator. If you are logging in as someone who is not the contract administrator, you may or may not have certain rights, for example, downloading software, downloading enhancements, even viewing particular software. So here I am logged in as me, and you can see under products and services, it lists all the products, all the services, or both, any updates and any trials. <clears throat> In this screencast, we'll get into setting up users. So if I want to, I can click the icons that are over here on the left-hand and right-hand side. If I click this icon, it will talk, it will display the cloud usage information um, that you have and how many you've used and how many are remaining. You can click this icon here <clears throat> that gets into uh, looking at managing your devices and how you're logging into your account for multiple um, machines like desktops, laptops, tablets. If you don't have the link that is for manage user accounts, that means you don't have the right to do so. So I'm going to sign out of this uh, Autodesk account and I'm going to sign back in as the contract administrator so you can see the difference. Now, once you've signed in as the contract administrator, the same screen will come up, but now you have an icon for users. And if you click inside here, you can see a list of all the users and their username, email addresses, so on and so forth. If you want to, you can click add and either add an individual user or bulk add a whole bunch of users at one time. So for example, here I can type in an email address, say, put in the name, and then if I click Save and Continue, it will take me to creating that particular user and getting into his, that user's access right capability. So for example, things like these are the different contracts. Um, I can assign all of them if I need to. I can get to any one of the pieces of software and see whether I'm assigning that information or not. For example, things like storage capacity, the software itself, any cloud services. When you finish, you hit Save and that user will be created. I'm not going to create that user, and I'm actually going to delete that user. So if I need to delete it, I can hit this X over here and get root and remove that user as well. Once that's finished, um, you've now learned how to create and manage users. And that's it. That's the screencast on how to create user accounts in your Autodesk accounts. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and please.